accidents happen on rappel than during any other part of climbing. So take your time, make sure your systems are redundant, and practice the steps before you head to the cliff. When you're just learning to rappel, it's worth asking an experienced friend at the base to hold the ropes and give you a fireman's belay. When you cling to the anchor, you threaded the rope through the rappel anchor, tied stopper knots in the ends of the rope to close the system, and made sure both ends were touching the ground. Now it's time to set up your rappel. This video is going to cover setting up a rappel extension, threading the rope through the rappel device, backing up the rappel with a friction hitch, and rappelling down the wall. You can rappel straight off your belay loop, but using a rappel extension keeps your rappel device away from loose clothes, makes it easier to back up, and keeps it centered so it's easier to control the brake strands. To make the extension, you can use the personal tether that you've attached to the tie-in points on your harness. Clip your rappel device to your tether with a locking carabiner. To keep the system redundant, make sure to clip into two points on your tether. Now grab the two strands of rope, pinch them into a bite, and push them through both the tubes on your rappel device. Clip your locker into both of the ropes and the cable, and lock the carabiner. To make your rappel smoother, try to keep the rope running parallel from the anchor into your device and down the wall. It's best to get into the habit of backing up your rappel with a friction hitch. That way, if something bad happens while you're rappelling and you lose control of the rope, the hitch should bind and keep you from a nasty fall. Tie your hitch around the two brake strands and clip it to your belay loop with a locker. An auto block is a great choice. You can test the hitch by pulling slack out and sliding it up until your weight is on the rope, not your personal tether. Then gently loosen your grip on the rope to make sure the hitch grips and holds. It's almost time to rappel, but before you do, double check your system and make sure your belay device is clipped through two points on your tether. Check that the rope is properly threaded through the device and that there are knots on the ends of the rope and the rope is on the ground. Be sure your friction hitch grips the rope and of course, make sure all your carabiners are locked. When you're ready to go, shout on rappel, then pull out slack until your weight is on the rope. Now remember, from this point until you're safely on the ground, you always want to keep your hand on the brake strands, just like when you're belaying. The last thing to do before you start your descent is to unclip your personal tether from the anchor and clip it into your belay loop to make your extension redundant. As you lower down the rock, you'll need to tend the friction hitch with one hand and feed rope through the device with the other. Keep your knees bent, your feet shoulder width apart, and walk your way down the wall. Take your time and be careful, there's no rush. When you reach the ground, you can remove the hitch, pull the ropes out of your device, and let your partner know that you're off rappel. To learn more, check out these videos or click here to find an REI class near you.